this 100 watt laser can cut that out in less than 15 minutes. So that means for an hour, which in anybody's mathematics is $200. And I normally finish these in enamel black sprayed paint. Now you're not going to sell 20 or 30 of these a day. So what I'm saying is this can be one of the items in your product catalogue. So you would make 20, 30 of these in a batch, which you can, you can do in one day. And you would have them on hand for sale, even if you sold two, three a week, you've got them in stock. But your machine can produce something different every day. The previous video to this one, I show you in Cavco Maker Plus, but Cavco Maker will do it as well. How to create the vectors, which are the lines that are required by the laser program. In this case, I use LaserCut 6.1. So if you want to know how to create the vectors from a photograph then, or a drawing, go and see the video prior to this one. So now we're going to put those vectors into LaserCut 6.1 and send it to our laser and cut this out. Incidentally, when I set the Z datum just now automatically, that was just over here, this square here. You, t you touch that and uh, it will automatically set the Z. Of course you have Z down, or Z up. When I say Z, it's table, up and down. And of course the uh, X, Y coordinate and datum it buttons are here so you can control the laser from your computer from this directly from this uh, program so what I'm going to do now is select a new or create a new file and we will import the vectors that I made in the last video in Kafka, which is here, and there they are. So what I'm going to do is first of all select the whole, the whole lot. And if remember me saying about the little blue dot, it shows the start of the program. Well, there it is up there. And I'll deselect. See the little blue dot there. Now that is the zero zero of this program or this job. And the yellow triangles are where the laser is go sorry squares actually are showing where the laser is going to travel to and start a particular cut and if I zoom in uh, you might be able to make out there's an, a red arrow showing the direction of which the cut is going to follow so come back out of that Okay, so what I'm going to do now is select the whole drawing so it all goes red and I'm going to size this now. So to do that you come to the, um, the sort of edge of the material here, right click, press size. Now this, I'm going to I've got scale locked because I don't want it to go out of um, square then. So I'm going to say 550. That's okay. That's as near as damn 550. So there it is. Start of the program there. Okay, so now I'm going to deselect that. And there's something we need to do now because we're cutting this out. We need to cut the outside or release the whole um, piece of art 
from the main body of the material last. So we select that one and put it on a separate layer by going down to these little boxes, pressing that, deselect. So now you notice we have two layers here and two different colours here. This is black and this is blue. And also whatever appears in this window up here, the laser is going to do that operation first. So it's going to cut that black layer first, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to that one and this is set up perfectly. Speed, 19 millimeters, three quarters of an inch, don't forget. Uh, initial, <clears throat> initial fire of the laser to punch a hole through, 50%. Okay, this is all in percentage. Um, corner, cut in, arc, then 50%. I always la label these the same. Uh, power 1, 40%. Power uh, 2, 40%, or should we say max and min power. The rest doesn't matter, always blowing. You need blowing because it blows the debris and blows the debris out of the cut. This also keeps the laser lens cool and clean. Nothing else needs to be done here, just okay. And the second layer, same, 19, 50, 50, 40, 40, same, don't have to change anything at all, okay. So now what I'll do is fire the laser up and send this, now this is in one single file, I'm going to send this file just by going here to download. Uh, and this isn't lit up yet because the laser is not, it's not running, so it's not going to show uh, in communication with the program yet. So I'll start the laser up. So what, sometimes what you need to do to initiate communication is go onto this word that says communication failure and double click it. And then it'll turn green to commu communication success. So a lot of people do get that problem. They turn the laser on with their computer plugged into it and they write to me and say, oh, our laser isn't, our computer isn't talking to our laser. Well, that's the reason why. So I'm just going to get rid of the old program of the laser. Okay, so to send the new program to the laser now is just download download current file click that that's the current file file i just labeled it test one that's okay okay so you can see it's uh, quite bold so what we need to do is get, get our magnets we'll have to need a number of them to do this job set the datum now, uh, up in this corner.
leave magnets off here. Well, no need to really. Now this is a size of a pretty damn good sorted laser. Should come out leaving all the bits and pieces behind. Look at that. Perfect cut. Same the other side. Oh, one step there lock. Oh, you'll come out. Okay, so I'll just go and uh, clean this up now and um, spray it and I'll show you the finished result. And there of course is the finished item. It's still a bit wet because I've just sprayed it. But um, you know that's hung from a wall or a ceiling and it's very presentable. tree with birds inside of a frame. So I hope you found this video informative today and if you have please press like and subscribe to my channel and if you feel you would like to you could support this channel via my Patreon page. So thank you for joining me for this video today and it's bye for now.